Hi folks, welcome to America 2.0. This is coming from uh, Discovery News, or news.discovery.com, by Glenn McDonald. Uh, what this is about, folks, is, you know how you always see those E.T. pictures with the black eyeballs? Well, here's something to think about next time you see a photo like that, and you say, oh my god, it's all fake. Well, some scientists are able to put, uh, chlorine, uh, CE6 into the eyeball, let the eyeball absorb it. I'm right here. That's nice. They're killing my feed. Hi, folks. All right, don't worry about it, folks. So, anyways, next time you see ET pictures, think of this guy here. They take the chlorine CE6, and they basically use a turkey baster approach, and they basically drop it into the eye. The eye absorbs it. And it gives the person night vision up to about 50 meters. Uh, so the Science for the Masses, the biohacker group based out of California, pushes for open source research documents detailing the experiment. The night vision solution included a substance called chlorine E6 or CE6 found in some deep sea fish, which has light amplifying properties and also been used for certain cancer treatments. Uh, basically, Lucina was able to spot and recognize objects. I'm not doing that, folks. Somebody's taking control of my computer and hacking the shit out of it. And I wish they'd have the balls just to walk onto the property and stop playing games, but I hope they don't, because I don't want any trouble, but shit has happened in the last couple of months, and nobody wants to do anything about it. So, basically, folks, um, what this is, is this subject here, this guy, uh, basically, uh, gets this drop put in his eye, but an hour later, I've read something else, I'm not even going to go through this, because this article is kind of small, and they, they use something like a very small turkey baster, like a, um, if you ever seen the small, uh, syringes? like the elongated ones, but the, they're, they're really, really thin. So they're like way out here. Anyways, so they got that over the guy's eyeball, and they're just dropping it in. And it's controlled drops. This guy sits there, you know, has his eye open for like an hour, just having this stuff just dropped into his eye. And the eyeball in certain parts um, absorbs this fluid. And basically when it absorbs the fluid, folks, the person is able to go into dark areas and see uh, with a night vision effect. Now, I imagine this is very, very, very um, dangerous for lighted environments. Like, I'm sure, I'm not even sure if closing your eyes would be safe, but I'm sure a dark veil or something is war when, when you go outside. Uh, or r rather, when you go in, into a room where it's full of light, otherwise you're born your burn your corneas and everything but basically this subject identified distant figures a hundred percent of the time in uh, controlled testing in the woods and different areas and they, they've, they've done this with a long group of people I've, like I said I've read different articles about it and you know at first you kind of recognize shapes and shadows and then it, the effects kind of last for about an hour then about an hour and a half later the effects wear off. I don't know how good it is, but people without this uh, CE6 subject identified about 33% of everything total, and the person with the CE6 formula in their eyes identified everything to about 100%. So they were able to walk into a dark area and uh, definitely do this. So next time you see an ET picture, folks, and they have dark eyes like this, 
think for yourself and believe that this is what they have in there. Some chlorine uh, E6 injection or droplets. Because if you look at his eyes, isn't that what you see when you look at those ET pictures, the ones that look real? You see the black eyes. You see the red little pupils and everything. And you go, hmm, hey, that looks like that. 